So there is something that I want to tell us today. You know, there's something that my dad used to tell me. He said, where there is no hope always, that is always where there is hope. You know, I know that there are a lot of people who are struggling like, like me out there, who are believing God one day that everything will be all right. I know that there are a lot of people who are hustlers out there, who are hoping to see God in perfection in their life, who are hoping one day God will locate them, God will change their life. I am here to tell you something. Listen, you have to understand one thing. <laughs> God is not far from you. God is watching. Listen, you, you, you don't need to be, you, you, you don't need to doubt yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to doubt yourself. The future is bright. You know, where there is no hope, that is only where hope always comes from. Don't think everybody rejects you. Don't think there is no one to support you. Don't think that you are struggling alone. Hey. That means there is no hope. Don't think you are the only one. Maybe you are, you are a single mother up there. You are a single father up there. You are the only one taking good care of your family. That means there is no hope again. Ah, bro. <laughs> Sisters, it does not matter who rejects you. It does not matter who abandoned you. God is too... That is, I, I'm here to tell you. Your, 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 your next breakthrough is going to shock many. The kind of blessing that will come upon upon your life, the kind of blessing that you will receive. I'm not talking about those who have quit. To, I, I, don't, I don't pretend. If you quit, that is your business. I'm not talking about those who have automatically give up because of the fact that they believe that the tougher it is, the worse it becomes. No, the tougher it is, the the nearer it becomes. So don't, don't. I'm not talking about those who who think ah let's give up. There is no need, and they allow their enemy to win them. No, I'm talking about those who are ready to do it. Whether people support you, people don't support you. Whether they care, they don't care. My brother, look at it. You are already close to that place. You are already close. I I I I, I, I can now imagine how useful, how many people that are going to be annoyed. Some people will be telling you at the end of all this your struggle. Some people will still have the impetus to tell you, eh, why only you are blessed now? Nah? Why you are uh, the only one receiving all this blessing? Why will God be doing all this thing for you? Why will God be favoring you, favoring you? Everything you touch, you touch, you are blessed, you are blessed. You are <laughs> so my brother, never you think of quitting. Yes, if you have done any mistake in life, or you have done any other mistake that you are regretting, or maybe you have done mistake that you feel like, ah, oh, I wish I did not do that. Never you do the mistake of quitting. Trust me. Never you grow to that point where you will think, ah, I, I, I want to quit this thing. Because trust me, I can, I, I, I can boldly tell you that we are more than six people that started up this channel, YouTube channel together with my friends but i was shocked when majority of them quitted yes i do used to tell them quitting is not the best option you have to grant it's not about you quitting it's about you knowing what you want what is the essence of you quitting you think everything will be easy everything will be given to you the way even if god is with you everything will not be available the way you want it you must surely hustle for it so my brother never you think of quitting is it a little? Are you ending it maybe little by little? Don't think of quitting. Don't think of giving up. I can boldly tell you that it's too early. It's too, it's too late. It's too late. You have gone too far. You have gone too, too, too far to quit. So don't let people deceive you. Don't let no one up there deceive you that the future is not bright. Don't let anyone up there make you feel like, ah, you, you won't be able to make it. Don't let anyone up there make you feel like, ah, ah, you, you lose in this, in this place. That is the final say. Don't let anyone make you feel like that, bro. Because they have eyes, but they can't see. They have ear, but they can't hear. So it is something that is great, that is ahead of that storm. Have you ever come to understand that sometimes even the tree that they refuse to water, sometimes give fruit much more than the ones that they, oh, they do their water. Why? Because those ones whom 
they don't water, that do or that stress to get their fruit, are always hunger for greatness. Those trees, you know, sometimes you just be like, why is it that this tree that they don't put water on, then nobody watered it, nobody spread water, neither is there any fertilizer around it, but it produces more because they have gone through the pain. They have understand that there is no time to listen to garbages. They have understand that there is no time to listen to obstacles. They have fully come to understand that, yes, it may be tough, but we are tough. So what am I trying to say, choosing this? It does not matter how many people that reject you. It does not matter how many people that conclude you. But what matter is that you don't quit. Remember blessed. May God bless you.